My name is Catherine Steadman. I'm a gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Christchurch Hospital and the University of Otago, New Zealand. I've been asked by the editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to discuss a paper that we will have published shortly in their journal. The title of the paper is Inflammatory Bowel Disease is Associated with Poor Outcomes of Patients with Primary Sclerosing Cholangitis. I'm the senior author on this paper and the research work was performed by Dr. Geoffrey New, a gastroenterologist and research fellow in our institution. Primary sclerosing cholangitis is a chronic, progressive, cholestatic liver disease that is associated with quite poor uh, quality and also morbidity. And to date, there has been a scarcity of population-based epidemiological data concerning PSC. PSC is also strongly associated with inflammatory bowel disease. In this study, we aimed to conduct a population-based descriptive epidemiologic study of PSC in Canterbury, New Zealand. We also aimed to compare the epidemiology phenotype and prognosis of PSC in patient cohorts with and without inflammatory bowel disease. We used multiple case finding methods to identify all public and private adult and paediatric patients with primary sclerosing cholangitis or PSC in Canterbury, New Zealand. We found that the incidence of PSC was 1.6 per 100,000 persons, and the point prevalence was 11.7 per 100,000 persons. The mean age at diagnosis was 50 years, and there was a male predominance with 62% of cases being male. 76% of patients had concurrent inflammatory bowel disease. When we compared the cohorts of patients with PSC uh, with and without IBD, we found striking and significant differences between them. Patients who had inflammatory bowel disease were diagnosed with PSC at a significantly younger age with a mean of 47 years at diagnosis, compared to those without IBD whose mean age at diagnosis was 59 years. However, the most striking finding was that when we examined outcomes, we found that the presence of IBD had a major impact on the outcomes of patients with PSC. Over a median of seven years of follow-up, the PSC patients with IBD developed the serious malignant complications that are known to be associated with PSC, including cholangiocarcinoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, and uh, bowel cancer in 14 patients. Additionally, 26 out of the 60 patients had the serious outcome of either death or liver transplantation. In marked contrast, none of the 19 patients without IB, concurrent IBD in our population-based cohort developed any of the serious known associated malignant complications, so including cholangiocarcinoma, HCC or colorectal carcinoma. Only three patients in this cohort developed, either died or required liver transplantation. These differences in serious outcomes between PSC patients with and without inflammatory bowel disease were highly statistically significant. And these findings were consistent irrespective of the length of follow-up for each group. This implies that inflammatory bowel disease is a major modifying factor in the clinical course of PSC.